We're not like your pastors in the church that read one scripture and then sing and dance the whole night and pass around a collection plate. We're not out here asking for money. We out here to raise our people up from right. this low estate. Right. That's what we out here for. We not out here for charity, for fundraising. We out here to raise our nation of people. Understand that, Terrell. We we are here to teach you you the son of God, but there's certain things you must do to be his son. Because you said you had a six-year-old son, right? And I'm sure you teach him, correct? You tell him what to do and what not to do, right? You tell him, look both ways before you cross that street, boy. You might get hit by a car. God does the same with us our whole life. But we got to open up and read the book. Now, I'm going I'm to show you what your father telling you right now, Terrell. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Uh -huh. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So our head, Terrell, running, is Christ. This man right here that you see on that sign, that's not his true depiction, but that's closer of a depiction than this man. Right. That's how the Bible describes Christ as a so-called black man. That's right. Now, he's our head. He's our Lord. Right? Read on. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, uh -huh. and the head of the woman is the man. Are you married, Terrell? Do you have a girlfriend? Okay, well, I'm going to teach you thus if the Bible marriage is honorable, but we're going to get into that. But it's saying the head of a woman is her man. That's her head. So who is the head of the man, Terrell? Christ. That's the head of the man. What about you, Vernon? Who's the head of the woman? The man. The man is over the woman and Christ is over the man. Now I'm going to show you who's over Christ. Read. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. That's why he was known as the son of God. So God is at the top. Christ, man, woman. So Terrell, what you must do is you have to teach your girlfriend and your son the Sabbath day. Because it's what you're learning. So you must teach them what you know. Because you want your son to live a better life than you, right? Right. You don't want him to start from scratch, from zero, like we have to do. You want to build him up and leave a legacy, leave a heritage, right? But this is our heritage and our legacy, That's thus saith the Lord. So we must come back to that first. Read. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered. So every man praying or prophesying. So what I'm doing right now, Terrell, is prophesying to you because I'm coming out of this Bible to teach you the prophecies and the history that concerns our people. So it said every man that is what? Praying or prophesying, Read. having his head covered. Having his head covered. Read. Dishonoreth his head. What does that mean, Terrell? Wake up. Yeah, it means to wake up. But it said every man that having his head what? Wake up. Covered. Dishonoreth who? Wake up. Because who's the head of the man? Wait, God. Christ. Well, ultimately, God is, of course. But Christ is our next step. Because you got to go through Christ to get to God. He said, by me, there's no other way. So our Lord is Christ. And Christ said, if we're praying or prophesying and your head is covered, you dishonor him. You dishonor him. Why? Because you wasn't made to have your head covered when the laws come out to him. So in order for you to show repentance in this exact moment, it would be to uncover your head. Wake up. So, will you do what God said to do, Terrell? Wake up. I know it's hot out here, but look around. Do any of your brothers got a head on? Not one of us. Because we respect our Lord and Savior, Wake Jesus Wake Christ. Up. So, that's up to you, though, Terrell. We ain't going to make you uncover your head. But that's up to you. God said you dishonored your head with your head covered. Now, give me fringes. I'm going to be honest, because I'm not a real big religious person. Right. I don't believe... I don't get me wrong, I don't lie, but no matter what their religion they believe right. in, I don't believe in God. I believe that he is a God, but I don't uh -huh. believe in any certain God. Well, guess what? That's if the Bible, there is a God, but guess what? He's a, he's only the God of Israel. Only the God of you, Terrell. I don't, he's not me, Trust me, it's you. You just don't know it's you yet, brother. That's what America has told you. Because that's, you got to think about who has taught you your whole life. America. You was born and raised in America. The same people that has destroyed you and kept our people as slaves. That's who raised you. No, I'm, I'm telling you. Don't get me wrong, fuck America. I mean, that's how I feel. Uh -huh. The American flag, I don't believe in that. Now, do your actions say that, though? Because guess what? America say they push white. They, this is what they push. I would leave him. Right? Well, first and foremost, we got to build ourselves up. Right? So this is what America pushes. This right here. White Jesus. Right? And you say you don't believe in that, right? 
Yeah. All praises. Yeah. But guess what? Myself. That's another thing too. I still find myself. Now. We showing you who you are to save the Bible. That's what the Lord brought you here right now. I'm telling you, searching for something, but the Lord got it right in front of you right now. Right. That's what the Lord have you here right now, Terrell. So don't walk away. Just listen to what the Bible got to say, all right? Because I'm showing you your history according to the Bible that you can teach your son. Because you don't want your son to grow up to do the same thing you're doing, trying to find yourself, right? You know how many years of, of your life you were waste trying to find yourself? Well, we showing you who you are, so now your son don't got to waste his time. Now out. you can raise him up from his youth right. That's right. Godly, righteous. That's what we're showing you, Terrell. But first, you got to come back to these commandments. Now I'm showing you, you say to hell with America, right? But guess what? You live in the way they want you to live right now, Terrell. Right. That's what I'm showing you. By you not keeping these commandments, you live in how they taught you. Read this. Yeah, go ahead. The book of Psalms, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh -huh. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So we know you say, you said, you don't believe in an exact God, but there's something, right? Read. They are corrupt. They, believe, believe they have done abominable works. So all these men up here, you see before you, we have sinned. Give me a fringes. All these men you have seen, we have sinned, right. right? But we came to repentance because the Bible said so. Right. So Terrell, I'm showing you a history according to the Bible. Because you say you didn't see yourself, right? You don't identify yourself with this Bible, right? But I'm showing you before you walked up, we saw into burning. All right, go back to the verses. Because we were showing them Deuteronomy 28, but you was you was talking to the officer over there. So you didn't probably catch what we was bringing out. But we was bringing out the curses that's upon our people. I'm going to show you how we cursed in the city. Read. Deuteronomy 28, verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Read that again from the top for me. Cursed shall be thy, excuse me. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Terrell, look around. Are we cursed in the city today? We are. So you agree with that. So check one. That's one identification. Because we're talking about Israel right now. Moses said, cursed shall thou be in the city. All right, that's check. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall you be in the field. Hey, Terrell, are you working a job that you want to work right now? You not, cause you cursing the job the work feel. Right. That's another curse. Check. Yeah, I'm doing something for myself. Yeah, you. I gotta do what I gotta do. For right. My and I understand that. You do it this way, the right way, did the wrong way. I'm not out here robbing, stealing, killing. All praises. All, all, all praises. Going yeah, don't do that. All praises. Yeah, that would be killing your people. Don't do that. But I'm showing you, you identify with cursed in the city. You identify with being cursed in the job field, the work field. Right. Read on. Oh, that's it. You want more? Yeah, read on. Verse 18. Curse shall be the, the fruit of thy body. Curse shall be the fruit of our body. Now, that goes into our children. Is your son living the best life he can live? Does he go to a private school? No. Nope. Does he eat the best of the best food? No. Nope. Why? Because curse shall be the fruit of our basket. So you identify with that, right? That's three. Read. And the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind. Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. Uh -huh. So it said we shall become an astonishment because it's a wonder when you come out to the ghettos, you just see a bunch of black people hanging around. It's an astonishment. Like it's why are they hanging around? I like that we just say Three. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. One proverb is if you want to hide anything from a black man, put it in a what? A yeah. book. See, you know the proverb, so you identify with that, right? That's four of them you identify with these curses. And there's plenty more we're going to keep reading them to you. But we're trying to show you, this is who you are. You're an Israelite, thus saith the Lord God. Right. Come right. look at the sign for me, Terrell. Is your father on this sign? Who is he? Judah. Judah. So you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Right. The same tribe Christ came from. So we're showing you who you are, Terrell. That's right. That way you can teach your son. But first, you got to know who you are before you can tell your son who he is. Read on. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Uh-huh. Verse 41. Thou shalt be God's sons and daughters, but thou shalt not enjoy them. We shall have sons and daughters, but we shall not enjoy them. Pay attention to these two signs right here. Terrell and, and uh, Evan. Pay attention to them. Read. 
For they shall go into captivity. They shall go where? Into captivity. What's another word for captivity, Terrell? No. Slavery. That's another word for captivity. Do you see slavery on these sons? So do you agree with what the Bible is telling you? That our sons was taken from us and given to different masters. Have you ever watched Roots? You ain't watched that? Watch it. It's a good way to identify yourself with your that. history. It's just right here. Uh huh. I heard that. I ain't gonna say I heard it. It's old or something. What's that? It took slaves from here to the cowboy. It didn't break. It led to bring up slaves from Africa here, but it took. They, they took us all around the world, brother. Aboriginals, the people of this region. To real. I understand what you're saying, but guess what? They took us all around the world. We have another sign. It's not up here at this moment, but it shows our slave trade, the route. They took us all around the world. Cause read the end of um, verse 39 again. Because it, it told you until all nations. Read that again for them. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. So guess what? We went to slavery in multiple countries. They took us from that side and brought us here. They took Northern Kingdom from this side and brought them there. So we traveled all around the world on slave ships to be made servants. You identify with that, correct, Terrell? Right. So I'm showing you, you're Israel, thus saith the Lord, because you fit these curses. That's right. Read verse 64. And the Lord shall lead thee, excuse me, and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Among all people, Terrell, because that's what your question, right? Cause you're like, damn, they brought, they took people from here and brought them over there. But guess what it said? All people. We was made slaves and servants to all people, Terrell. Read. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. So from one end of the earth to the other. From North America to Europe, from Africa to South America. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.